makes us feel good. We bob our heads, tap our feet, play air guitar. We feel music in our bodies, our minds, and our souls. Studies show that music can actually reduce depression and anxiety. It can calm us down and even offer relief from chronic pain. That's some pretty powerful medicine. So here's a sonic prescription from Kaiser Permanente. Listen to music daily, twice daily, three times daily, or just as needed. Explore new music. Expand your playlist. Sing along at the traffic light with foolish abandon. Because not only can music rock your world, it can make you happier and healthier. We're Kaiser Permanente, and we want you to live well, listen well, and thrive. For music to thrive by, visit kp.org slash thrive slash music. Live from Progressive. Flo here with breaking news. Let's go to Jim in the chopper. Hey, Flo, looks like Progressive is offering the snapshot discount. It's their biggest discount ever. Should be huge. That's big, Jim. But what's with the chopper? What do you mean? It's a chopper. Choppers are sweet. They kind of are. The Snapshot Discount. It's new, it's a big deal, and it's finally here. Learn more at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and its affiliates. Mayfield Village, Ohio. Prices vary based on how you buy. Snapshot is not available in all states. Hey, sweetie. Yeah? We need to make a decision about naming our son. I still like Christopher. I don't like Christopher. What about Michael? Are you a Michael? Are you a little Mikey? Seriously, Mom and Dad? I'd really appreciate you making up your minds. I'm going to be graduating soon. Some things can only be put off for so long. Tax season ends April 18th. Hurry down to H&R Block and we'll help you claim your maximum refund. And if you're not quite ready, we can still help with filing an extension for free. Call 1-800-HR-BLOCK. An extension of time to file is not an extension of time to pay taxes due. Offer expires for 18-11. At participating locations. We do reveal ourselves online without wanting to or even realizing it. LA's Afternoon News. This is useful to prospective employers, prospective dates, uh, prospective insurance companies. They all want to know about us and understand us more. With Maggie and Mike. Should my computer detect something wiggling out of its parameters of what it should be doing that it just cuts that thing off? 4 to 7 p.m. Yeah, you come up with that and I'm sure you'll make a million dollars and yeah. leave me. KFWB News Talk 980. KFWV weather, what a gorgeous day. Beautiful, warm, and sunny, clear skies. Highs in the 70s today. It's going to cool down this weekend, maybe even see some rain. But for the rest of the week, uh, mostly highs in the low 70s and upper 60s. Right now in L.A., it's 77 degrees. You listen to KFWB News Talk 980. My name is Les Brown. I'm Mrs. Mamie Brown's baby boy. And you can hear me Monday through Friday from 2 o'clock until 4 o'clock. This program is, is designed to transform your mindset, to create new possibilities, to inspire you to love your life and to live your dreams. Because you've got something special. You've got greatness within you. Get out of your head and into your greatness. Thank you so much for spending this time with us. And I encourage you to to call us. I invite you to call and, and participate in the conversation. We talk about a variety of things, but we don't talk about politics and we don't talk about the problems of the world. We talk about human interest stories, things that involve you, things that you're concerned about. And anybody you know that's looking for a job, this this hour, this is for that person. This is for you. If you're looking for a job or looking to get a promotion or looking to engage in business with someone this this is something that you can get some value out of and i like to hear some of the results that you produce or maybe you might have some questions what do we talk about you've passed the interview now give us your presentation the workplace has changed thanks to the new economy as a result new ways of looking and keeping jobs have developed the new york times talked to Chris Cunningham, the CEO of a tech startup called App Savvy. And as I was reading this, it shows what goes on in the mind of an employer when hiring someone. And anybody you know looking for a job, this is something that's, that's going to be of interest to them. Chris was asked the first time he was somebody's boss. He explained it was when he started a magazine. When he was in that position, he concluded that the more you can make people feel that they have a hand at the wheel, that they're driving something, the more they'll participate and and feel like they own it they'll share your vision now chris was asked how he hires people now this this is this is key listen to this simple common sense but not common practice he says the applicant's resume 
just sits on the desk as a reference point. He focuses on three things. Number one, how much the applicant has researched the company and the position they want. Number two, how much enthusiasm the person has. And three, discovering how the applicant discovered and fixed problems in their previous jobs. Mm. Now, Chris says, the people who are able to respond quite quickly and have very short, concise answers to how they would overcome a problem, problematic situation typically are the ones who seem to possess the leadership skills. And there's one other step to the hiring process, and this is critical. Every job candidate, and a friend of mine just went through this, must present to five to seven people. Now, my friend had to be interviewed by 17 people, and everybody had to say yes. He said every the person will have to present to five to seven people as the final step before we hire them. We will give them a real-life example from our company and ask them to make a presentation. If someone comes up with a great idea for the proposal and present it without becoming nervous or uncomfortable and hold their own in the question and answer, you have a slam dunk. Now, Chris has this advice for students in business school. If you want something, tell them what you want. Chris tells us about one guy who he interviewed. He took the guy out for a beer and asked the guy, he said, dude, do you want this job? What's wrong with you? The applicant said, what do you mean what's wrong with me? I said, you're giving me nothing to work with. The guy said, I really want to be here. Chris says, some people just need that pinch to make them get the job. So here's what I want to hear from you, and I want you to call me at 888-539-2980. I want to hear from you. I want, I want to know from you. What worked for you in getting your job? How did you prepare? Did you do those things that Chris suggested or and some additional things? I want to know what worked for you. What was successful for you? There are people that are listening that can perhaps benefit from the breakthrough and how you landed that dream job that you now have. So the, here's the other thing. Or if you hire people. What is it that you look for? What what works for you in choosing someone for a job? I know what I'm looking for now. I know that people talk a good game, and now I test people. I give them something to do, and I watch them and see how well they, they do that and they handle that. And Because everybody can be a 10 for 10 minutes or 15 minutes or, or an hour for that matter. But I have to watch them and see because actions speak louder than words. And, and, and I tell you, it, it, today... You can, employers have choices and it, you can be a very brilliant person. You can have all kind of credentials. I see people with all types of degrees, but you put them in a situation where they have to be interviewed, where they have to be asked questions and they have to answer and they have to think on their feet. They crumble. Many people crumble under those situations. I, I work with people and I coach corporate executives and people who want to advance their careers and people who want to move to the next level or it, attract investors in their business. And I said, look, let me share something with you. Don't tell me about your Ph.D. or your MBA. They're going to be looking at you. People don't invest in just business plans. They invest in people. They're going to be looking at you. So I want to know what works for you. Demonstrate that. Because demonstration beats conversation all day long. That's what they're looking for. Can you demonstrate that? Can we see this in you? Can you sell yourself? How did you sell yourself to get that job that you now have, to get that promotion, to attract the people that you wanted in your business? How did you sell yourself to get to where you are right now? Want to know the number to call is 888-539-2980. Success leaves clues, as Tony Robbins would say. Success leaves clues. 888 888- 539-2980. I, I'd love to hear what you have to say. I know some of you have some very, very effective ways in which you have, you sell yourself. I got to tell you my story. I've, I've, I've always been able to think about what I wanted to get and, and, and thought about how to get what I wanted. And then I got a team of people to help me to bring out the best in myself because sometimes you can't see the picture when you're in the frame. So I believe in, in presenting to people who I'm talking to who say, who tell me and give me some coaching on what I need to do to show my best stuff. I want you to call and tell me how you were able to successfully accomplish 
what you've accomplished thus far. The number to call is 888-539-2980. That's 888-539-2980. Call me now, 888-539-2980. I want to hear your story. You're listening to KFWB News Talk 980.